Hey everybody, Scott Sprint here, DocSports.com, our report for Tuesday, November 6, 2018. Free pick coming up in college basketball tonight. Tips off the college basketball season. We'll get to that in just a bit off last night's win in the NFL with the Tennessee Titans. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a great time to give it a try because college basketball begins tonight and you can get a $60 free account. All you got to do is click on the link below the video, sign up for the free $60 account. You can use it on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. As mentioned, a, a big slew of games uh, starting the college basketball season tonight. We've got a couple over at DocSports.com, a couple of premium plays. We've got a free play coming up on this report in college baskets in just a moment. Uh, I just got to tell you that, man, I love early season college basketball. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the first five to ten games for each team and, and teams that have you know, a couple of starters coming back as opposed to those who have four or five starters coming back. All that kind of good stuff. How teams finished off the previous season, if they've got a lot of the same players coming back. It all works in those first five to ten games of the season for these teams. And uh, again, we've shown it with proof. And if you've been with us over the years, then you know about our 82 and 53, 61% college basketball November run. goes back several seasons, and we're looking to continue uh, that hot winning run. We've got, again, a couple of plays over at DocSports.com. They'll be available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. As far as football this week, the plays, of course, will be posted on Thursday afternoon. We're 11-1 and one with our last 12 college football and NFL uh, top plays, and that goes back six weeks. We swept again this past weekend, Iowa State Saturday, and the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. We've got two more going this weekend, seven-star main event, college football, seven-star main event in the NFL. We've capped the card. We're ready to go. The plays will be posted on Thursday afternoon. You can go uh, grab the card right now over at DocSports.com. And as far as the rest of the college football season and pro football season is concerned, uh, those prices have been reduced now. Uh, you can get a real good price, less than $500 for the rest of the football season over at DocSports.com. Again, two seven-star plays going this weekend. We look to extend our top play run to 13-1, and one, and uh, we enter on a 38-17 run college football NFL combined. $100 betters, by the way, in football. Well, they're up over $10,600 as we speak during this run. And again, uh, we're passing on Tuesday's NBA, by the way. Uh, we will be in NHL action on Tuesday, that play available during the day at DocSports.com. Just a few games, four games in the NBA. We handicapped them all. We don't see anything that we like, but we do have a play in the NHL. All right, this is the long video, folks. Before we get to the free play in college baskets, it is our recap of Week 9 in the NFL. If you're new to what we do, we do this every Tuesday video. Every Tuesday morning, we recap all the notes that we take over the weekend, highlight shows, games we watch with our very own eyes live, and, and again, the highlight shows, reading on the internet, the, the quality pages that you can find uh, that talk about what teams did, and we recap it every Tuesday. It's a long video, the longest video of the week, every single week. Uh, let's get to it and see if we can get you some decent information. And again, these are not in schedule order, but as I take uh, jot down notes throughout the uh, Sunday during the games, and of course, when I'm watching the highlights, uh, Jets and Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins won 13 to six. Running game held in check again. Defenses have figured out the Jets. You slow down Isaiah Crowell. You're going to put the onus of the offense on Darnold. He just can't get it done. No touchdown passes. Four interceptions. Only touchdown in the game because the Jets defense played decent. Uh, was a pick six by Miami. Osweiler's been game managing well. Give him credit for the Dolphins. Falcons knock off the Skins 38 to 14. The Atlanta Falcons were our biggest play of the weekend, our biggest side so far of this season, in fact. And Matty Ice, Matt Ryan does it again. He's now got 19 touchdowns, only three picks on the season. I like the way Coleman ran, 13 carries, 88 yards. Julio Jones had a big game receiving, 121 yards on seven grabs. Alex Smith had to throw the ball too much, 46 times. Washington banged up on the offensive line a little bit going in, lost three starters overall, including a couple up front on the offensive line. Uh, in this game, Adrian Peterson completely held in check, had no blockers out in front of him. Atlanta gets the easy win. Uh, the Bucks at Carolina, Carolina 42-28. to Carolina now has 99 points scored in their last nine quarters of play. They've really opened up the offense under uh, North uh, Turner's tutelage. 
And Cam Newton, boy, 19 for 20, 19 for 25, 247 yards, couple of the touchdown passes. The offense looked great. McCaffrey, such a great addition. Greg Olson, still as reliable as ever for Cam Newton, especially in the red zone, had another touchdown grab over the weekend. And this Tampa Bay defense continues to play poorly. They've now given up 40.3 points per game during their four-game road losing streak. The Panthers, by the way, on a 10-game home winning streak straight up. Bears over the Bills, 41-9. to A couple of notes out of this one. The Bills, 81 plays, 9 points, 4 turnovers. Uh, Khalil Mack did miss his second straight game. Didn't matter. Bears, by the way, are 5-3. and three. They're only 11 points away from an 8-0 record. Uh, Vikings beat the Lions 24-9. to nine. And again, like again we mentioned earlier, the Jets and Isaiah Crowell, uh, same thing here for the Lions. Defenses are focusing on slowing down on Johnson. When you do, it forces Stafford to have to throw a ton of passes, onus of the offense on his arm on the passing game, and they're not as good. Uh, on Johnson only had 37 yards on 12 carries against the Vikings as a team. The Lions only had 209 yards. The Vikings had 10 sacks on the day. Uh, Lions, by the way, were 0 for 3 in the red zone. And Cook for Minnesota, real nice day, 10 carries, 89 yards. By the way, when you're handicapping Detroit, you want to see if they can run the football. You want to see if their opponent is good against the run. When Minnesota, when you're capping their games, well, they're now 3-0 and when they rush for 100 yards or more. They had 128 on Sunday. So when you're capping their games, just check out and see if their opponent can stop the run going into the contest. KC 37, Cleveland 21. I know a lot of folks, uh, sharp folks, who were on Cleveland in this one. I passed the game myself. Kareem Hunt, he's the key. 17 carries, 91 yards, two touchdowns. 50 receiving yards, a receiving touchdown, as good as Patrick Mahomes is, and Kelsey, and you know Tyreek Evans, the whole shebang. The bottom line is, you got to stop Kareem Hunt. If you can slam the door on Kareem Hunt, you got a shot to slow this Kansas City offense down. Put all the offensive uh, onus, I guess you could say, on the shoulders of Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying he can't get it done. But stop Kareem Hunt, and you've got a chance to win. Uh, by the way, nice game for Nick Chubb. He had 85 yards on 22 carries and a touchdown, showing again you can run on the KC defense. Uh, Denver loses to the Texans 19-17. to uh, Brandon McManus for Denver. He missed a couple of field goals, including a potential game winner. 51-yarder, well within his range, but he slices it to the right. That was the final play of the game. Uh, as far as Houston, they started 0-3. They're now 6-3 on the season. Really like the way Deshaun Watson has played the last few games. Steelers and Ravens, uh, Pittsburgh 23-16, just the second, or I should say that Pittsburgh has now uh, won consecutive games of Baltimore for the first time in 17 years. A note from this, Pittsburgh now 14-1-1 straight up last 16 road games. Ravens defense has to get it back on track. They're giving up 28 points per game during their three-game skid. And uh, who needs Le'Veon Bell, right? James Conner, 24 carries, 107 yards rushing. I'll say one thing about it. If you go back and watch the highlights, Pittsburgh got away with a few illegal picks in passing situations in this game, including one of their touchdowns to James Conner. Chargers 25, Seattle 17. Russell Wilson, his pick six when they were down 19 to 10, put the game out of reach. Here's the problem. We talked about Seattle in last week's recap. When they run the football well, they usually play well because Wilson doesn't have to throw the football all day long. He had to throw 39 passes on Sunday. Uh, he didn't play badly, obviously. Two touchdowns, one pick. The one pick was huge. It was a pick six. But Davis had, a, you know, 62 yards on 15 carries, nothing special. Uh, the Chargers could have won by a bigger margin, but their place kicker Sturgis missing field goals again. Uh, just a mess this season as far as missing kicks out of Sturgis. It's amazing how poorly this team has been on special teams over the last couple of years. Listen, they won the game despite Rivers hitting just 50% of his passes in the game. Melvin Gordon, 16 carries, 113 yards on the contest. And the, and the Chargers defense, by the way, they're allowing just 17 points per game during this five-game win streak. Rivers, 19 touchdown passes on the season, only three interceptions thrown. You just got to worry about that kicking game. Could hurt them when they step up in a big game against uh, divisional opponents. Rams and the Saints did battle. The Saints won 45-35. to 35. Cooks and Cup. 11 grabs combined, 203 yards combined, two touchdowns. Breeze, another big game, four touchdown passes, 346 yards through the air. And Drew Brees now, 18 touchdown passes, only one interception. Another big game for Kamara on the, on the uh, ground. Uh, Michael Thomas, 12 catches, 211 yards, one touchdown. Saints had five touchdowns on their first six drives. They built that, what, 35 to 14 lead, I believe it was, 
Rams made the valiant comeback, but uh, couldn't overcome the Saints, and the Saints go on to a 10-point win. Uh, Rams, by the way, seven games now where they've scored at least 30 points. Uh, Packers lose to the Pats on Sunday night, 31-17. to uh, Ran for 123 yards, did New England. Patterson and White, they combined for 90-plus yards rushing, 23 carries. Gordon, White, Edelman, combination for 17 grabs, 273 yards and a touchdown. Gordon, White, and Edelman are really coming up big uh, on the receiving end of those Tom Brady passes. And then, of course, last night, Monday night, Tennessee goes into Dallas, knocks off the Cowboys 28-14. to The Titans were our free pick here yesterday on the video. Um, two bad streaks ended in one night. They killed two birds with one stone. Mariota finally throws more than two touchdown passes for the first time in many, many games. He had three. And Tennessee finally topped 24 points in regulation. First time in, I don't know what it was, 17, 18, 19 games. They scored uh, 28, of course, and got the two-touchdown win. And as we said, we didn't think Amari Cooper would make that big of a difference yet for the Dallas Cowboys. That is your recap for Week 9 in the NFL. And by the way, all my notes, including a few more details, are available every Wednesday afternoon over at DocSports.com in written form. And it's on my uh, handicapper homepage over at DocSports.com. In case you're looking at these notes, copy and paste them. You can use them for your own notes if you're doing your own handicapping. All right, that'll do it for the recap, free pick in college baskets in a moment. Once again, a reminder, college basketball plays for Tuesday have at least two going on Tuesday premium plays, both available at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. NHL, we're in action in one game. We're on a 31-18 and 18 regular season NHL run. That play will be also be up during the day. And, of course, football up later in the week on Thursday afternoon. Free college basketball Tuesday. We're laying it with UC Irvine over Idaho. Listen, I know uh, the offshores opened up 12 and a half, a couple of offshores. Vegas opened up the right line 14 and a half. I wish it was still 12 and a half, but we still like the Anteaters here at 14 and a half. Uh, this Idaho Vandal team, they've been top three in the Big Sky. Give them credit since they went back to the Big Sky, but they lost a ton from last year's team. One starter back. Uh, that might not mean a huge drop-off in end-of-the-season results in Big Sky play. Probably still going to end up in the top four or five, but it does hamstring them outside of the conference, especially early on like this one. Uh, and against the best team in the Big West in UC Irvine, they've got everybody back, all five starters from last year. They're all about the defensive end of the floor. In fact, they've led the Big West in defensive efficiency each of the last two seasons that's going to spell trouble, I think, for this Idaho team uh, that doesn't have any really experienced leaders on the floor with just one starter coming back. Could be some ball handling problems here. We like UC Irvine minus the points on Tuesday night. Your free pick, UC Irvine College Basketball Tuesday. All right, that'll do it for uh, Tuesday's report. Please, uh, if you like what you see in here, give us a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. Best of luck on Tuesday. Let's put them in the win column. We'll be right back here Wednesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.